In this section, we'll be covering examples part two of section 2.3. So example four here says, use the quotient rule to differentiate the function. So again, I have a fraction, so we've got to do the quotient rule, which means I'm going to take low x squared plus one, d high, derivative of the numerator. So I'm gonna have to take the derivative of each term individually. The derivative of a constant times x is just that constant, and the derivative of a constant two is zero. Minus high d low, two terms. So the derivative of x squared is two x to the one, plus the derivative of one is zero. All over low squared. Now let's simplify this, we end up with um, x squared plus 1 times 5 minus 5x minus 2 times 2x all over x squared plus 1 squared. So here I'm going to distribute a 5, so I have 5x squared plus 5 and here I'm going to combine these two together to make a negative 2x and distribute that negative 2x. So I'm going to get negative 10x and positive, or I'm sorry, negative 10x squared and positive 4x. All over x squared plus one squared. So then I get, combining x squareds, I get negative 5x squared plus 4x plus five. And that's as far as I can take um, that function. Now for example five, um, again we have a fraction here so we're gonna have to do the quotient rule again. So I'm going to start with low d high. There's a constant multiplier there but the derivative of cosine is negative sine plus high d low. There's a constant multiplier there and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. All over low squared. So if I multiply this, I get negative six e to the x sine x. If I multiply this, this term out, I get six e to the x cosine x. And in the denominator, I get 9 e to the 2x. Remember, that means 3 e to the x times 3 e to the x. So 3 times 3 is 9. And when you multiply um, terms with the same base, you add their exponents. And x plus x is 2x. So I think that is the end of these particular problems. Um, we'll stop the video here.